A quick note before we get started, the screencast today is sped up by about 10 times, so it can be flashy at moments. So if your eyes have any problems with flashing images on the screen, this is your fair warning. Well, today's design challenge comes from Techniques. Techniques ask, can you make a video on how to make the UI of an iOS weather app? I know it's tough, but I really want to see some more tutorials from you. Well, Techniques, the answer is yes, and we are doing that today. So today we are looking at the iOS weather app. And so here is what I'm going to try and replicate. If you're new here, my name is Darren and I am your Thunkable X coach. And in this series that I'm calling Design Challenge, what I do is I, I take app designs that look really, really nice and I try to recreate them inside of Thunkable. Now, Apple is definitely a kingpin when it comes to apps and, you know, this whole world of, uh, of app development. So this is going to be a challenge trying to replicate one of their apps, but let's see where it takes us. Now, so far I have gotten a background. I think I grabbed that from unsplash.com. I definitely looked around for quite a while and had to crop it a little bit to find what I want. On the Thunkable screen, you can only see a portion of the image, I guess because it's so big, but you can see up in the top right, the actual image that I grabbed for the background. So once I had the background image, now I'm just trying to go through and uh, kind of block out the, the page. So we have the top section where it displays the city, kind of the weather condition, and then the big, big boldness of the actual degrees. And then we get into kind of the more of the, the fun stuff. Now, right smack dab in the middle, there's this row where it shows you the predicted weather for like the next 24 hours. And it is uh, scrollable, but one of the notable things about it when it comes to the design is it has these icons that change based off the weather conditions. So if it's gonna be cloudy, it shows a cloud. If it's gonna be sunny, it shows the sun. So I went to iconfinder.com and found a pack of weather icons. So you'll see me add these in, not only here, but also in the section below it where it shows the weather over the next few days. Now, initially I went through and uh, added in like those 24 different sections for each of the hours, but I think I chickened out after a while and just took it back to only show six. But again, this is just a design challenge to, to show a proof of concept of what you, you can do with the design in Thunkable. So as far as this section goes, I think I really nailed it once we look at the final product. And then once we have the hourly forecast right below that, then it gets into like the next seven day forecast. And instead of doing a row for each day and then within that row showing the the day the icon and then the low and the high of the weather i decided to do columns so four big columns and then put each, put each of the elements inside of that and the reason i did this was so that i could get my horizontal alignment perfect you see on the days there i wanted it to be very straight and the icons i wanted to be very straight and then within each of those columns, I put the elements and then adjust the spacing and the size so that they all aligned vertically. So now most of the screen was completed. I just needed to add a, a text box to show in like a, a text sentence format what the weather for the day was. And then at the very bottom, they have a few options as far as a, a logo to go to the weather channel. And so I went and found found that and made it into a, a PNG using some of my, uh, my fanciness. And then also there was like a little, uh, I think it's called a hamburger menu <laughs> in the bottom right. I've always thought that was funny. Hamburger menu it just makes me, you know, I just think it's funny to call something on a computer screen a hamburger. But anyways, I went back and made those white so they could blend in a little bit better. And then once those were completed, we, uh, yeah, we called that done. Alrighty, so here is the reveal. Here is what I was trying to make. And here is what I was actually able to make in Thunkable. Yeah, so overall, I am, I'm quite, quite pleased with how this turned out. I really like, you know, just overall how everything is, is very aligned and clean. And uh, yeah, it looks a lot like the, the original that I was trying to make. A few limitations that I did find was uh, the, the iOS weather app has moving backgrounds and I was not able to put like a video back there. But if you were going to, to make an app like this, 
you could easily like change out the background based on the weather conditions so you could make it like a rainy background and that's basically the same thing you would do for for the icons for like what the weather would be like over the next few hours so what i think is cool about this is thunkable recently put out a a series of videos on web APIs and, and a pair of videos they did on um, hooking up your app to the Open Weather API, Open Weather Database. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to share the link uh, with you so that you can remix this app, so that you can copy and work with this app and make it your own. And then I'm also going to link those videos where they showed you how to hook up the API so that you can pull in live weather data into the app. So yeah, I, ch I challenge you to do that. If you are a beginner or even you're just testing your skills, uh, I really think that that's going to be a nice, fun challenge for you. Well, hey, if you like this video, be sure to stick around for another Thunkable X tutorial. And with that, I will say happy coding. <laughs>